Yo, welcome. And I'm going to stream a game that looks a little bit scary, actually. Maybe it is a horror title. I don't know. It's called Monstrum. Another one that I purchased recently. Can't remember what the reviews are like. I think on the whole, the, method, the reviews were terrible. I, I just probably went ahead and bought it. But um, let's have a look at the game card anyway. So on a derelict cargo ship, you have to outsmart one of Monstrum's terrifying predators as you try to escape. With a procedurally generated environment in permadeath, it's up to you and your wits to stay alive or start over against another monster. Good luck, start running. Yeah, up to right. What surprised me about this title is it's only 1.6 gigabytes, five pounds currently, so 80% off on the store. Which is nice. That's quick maths for you, isn't it? And um, yeah, it's 1.6 gigabytes when it's installed, which is amazing, really. Three years old, 2020 title, just a single player. Um, yeah, like I said, I mean, the screenshots look make it look reasonable. Um, it doesn't look terrible. But even though there's not enough to give a quantifiable rating, the reviews on the whole seem to be okay. Just looking at the star rating there. One problem. So I put a fuse in the fuse box and the camera detected me because of the cutscene. I could not run. It starts beeping, so I run around the corner and in a room and lock the door. I was hiding and the hunter breaks in and then it screeches and crawls towards me. Oh god, I hope this isn't too scary. It's bound to be, isn't it? It is absolutely going to be scary. Which I can't cope with. When it's late at night become more more of a wimp i don't know i it's, it's because i've i've become somehow more in like easily immersed into video games and therefore it just feels that like a little bit more real i don't know still real to me god damn it still real to me Come on. Just the camera until you can barely see the darkest symbol. Yeah, that's all right then. You know me. I like to turn that music volume down a bit. God, it's better not be jump scare horror. Or any type of horror. Not in the mood for it. Not in the mood for any type of horror. I'm already scared. Just the thought of being scared is scaring me. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? There's, there, I mean, there's one game I've been putting off completing. What was it? What was it? Oh, it's just, I think it was from the same makers of Paratopic. Oh. It's Slender Man or something like that. Well, I'm putting it off. I mean, I just haven't got back around to it, really. But most most games are like that, really. New objective, D-pad down. Oh, my head is killing me. What's going on? Where am I? Find out where you are. Where am I? Press X to open the door. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird door, isn't it? A disgusting state of this place as well. Oh god, that's very sensitive. In panic. Just swing around. Oh, these are quarters then, crew quarters. Hide under the bed. Okay. You move backwards 
to stop hiding. So B's a crouch. Press B to move forward and hide under the table. I think whatever it is trying to look for you will probably see you under the table. What's this? Kekoff and Wilson. I think there's something gone seriously wrong. I haven't seen another pair in hours. They went to investigate the engine, but no one's come back. There's definitely a fire. I can smell them burning. I don't want to make any noise by banging the door. I heard Fred yelling, and then he just cut off. If you wake up and find this, I'm making for the port side balcony. Uh... I'm making for the portside balcony to use the little raft. I'm leaving. I know you're sick, but we have to get off this ship. If you arrive, if you arrive in the next hour, I'll be waiting, Ellis. Oh, okay, thanks, Ellis, for ditching me. Um, let's come out of here then. Now. Let's just leave that. I can't get out. Oh, let's do it. It's a little bit buggy. In fact, while I'm at it, can I just turn down the sensitivity? Yes, I can. Oh, so that has been a bit challenging, to say the least. Um, okay, maybe a bit up. How are we doing there? It's weird how some games don't allow people to invert the y-axis. That must be so challenging, actually. Because for me, I'm just imagine I'm quite you know particular about which way I like the axis. I don't think I could play a game that had it inverted. Right, that's locked. Let's unlock that. Torch right now. Hold left trigger to run. Oh. That looks okay. Is there a raft then or something? That's a lot, so we can jump in here. Oh. Lock me out. It's crazy how games don't have a whole animation mechanic. But you know what? Let's give that a lock as well. An animation mechanic where you, if you press it on the door, it doesn't just close and knock you out. You just you end up walking through the door like normally. We should not give up the chance for a third expedition. The most enjoyment I could get from a third day in HK is knowing that were ahead of the schedule. I will observe the specimens, including those from the third night. Once the Hisa Maru is out to sea, the crew will have less time to note the comings and goings when they have a ship to run. It's just struggling in the, in the light. Right, okay. Well, now the weirdest thing is, I don't know how to come out of that. Oh, it's the up key. Oh, okay. Some black and white photos. Boarded up window, it looks like. Hmm. Oh, what's that? Turn the light out. Oh. They're just emergency lights or phosphorescence. There's no main light. Okay. I wonder if I should leave that open. Oh, we're on deck six. Okay. Whoa. 
Oh, sure, I'll just go up to the top then. He's on a live run. What's that? the fuck there's a ship how the hell did I end up here there must be some way off this some way out of this better look around some more okay where the hell am I oh I saw a film it was a really good I really liked it Although I recommended it to someone who, who didn't like it. I was quite surprised that they didn't like it. But um, I really liked it. It's, it's, a, it's a film where a lady goes onto a ship and she's doomed to repeat this like constant loop in time. And it's so freaky. You know, like a Groundhog Day. But this is a bit of a horror one, actually. What is that? Oh, what's this thing? coffee mug. I presume the battery in my flashlight doesn't really go out. Can I turn this light on? The main light. Right, they're all green. Doesn't work. What about this gas? Can. What can I do that? Or this? What's that? I'm just looting everything. Oh, key. Yes, please. Now that is handy. What can that be used for? Helicopter keys. Fuck yeah. Get the hell out of here. Right, where would the helicopter pad be? At the back of the ship. There is one. What's all this? So now I'm just waiting on Chekhov getting here before we can start making our way back up the ship. Oh yeah, before I forget. He said one of the boss's containers exploded, like completely burst open. Can imagine him speaking to the captain just like all, Captain, the whistle is in danger, or something like that. Oh, oh, that's him. I gotta go. Uh-oh. The whistle is in danger. Close that fucking thing. I mean, if there is a helicopter pad, this is on. It's going to be mid to rear ship, really. What? Someone seems to have tried to escape using the life raft, but it looks like something went wrong. I should have a closer look. And inspect the life raft. Mm. Got all these. Torch doesn't really. Okay. So, what? This is a container ship then. It's transporting containers. What's that? Pump. What for? Alright, what's that? That's the helicopter keys. Gasoline, canister. Smashable. And there's a fuse as well. Alright, I'm not going to complain about that. Wait, this can't be the back of the ship. This torch is useless right now. Only works in the very dark. In here, couldn't I? Well, 
like it in these boxes. It's comforting, although there's no escape if something comes at me. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll avoid boxes. Another gas canister. Right. Oh, no. At least I know it's there. What the hell was that? Okay, well, wherever I am... I mean, the thing is... Torch has run out. That's the problem. So, I mean, I've got no light whatsoever now. Yeah. No, I wish I hadn't used that torch up. Feel well scared. anywhere fuck's sake what do you know what's that what is that oh Jesus Christ sense of anxiety rushing through me, but I think I'll cope. So it can kick down doors, as per that review. Right, that looks handy, I could beat it with that. Not many things that can resist being beaten with a wrench, is there? Lovely. Nice bit of light there. Here we go again. Torch. Well, what I do know is there's not much up on the bridge. But I didn't inspect that life raft in fairness, so... I don't think I need to read that, though. But let's have a look. No. Is, 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 but it said it was procedurally generated, which is what probably attracted me in the first place. Now, what's procedurally generated exactly? Yeah, actually, this this exit, this room wasn't like this before. This corridor it wasn't just a single long corridor. I don't think. Could have been. 
No, I'm going to try to do it through the fuse on my... I think go into the... Oh, I'm on deck three now. Wow. So it is a sort of... Um, I think they call it roguelike when it's when you sort of you die and you start again but then it's permadeath in the sense that like you're not carrying anything through with you between things other than sort of experience but not even knowledge if it's procedurally generated then you're not really carrying carrying knowledge through are you I'll have a glow stick, I don't mind. Have a glow stick. Right, okay. Well, I'll leave that open just in case I need access to that in an emergency. Well, at least I know what the monster looks like. I think I'd have been eternally petrified if I never actually saw it. Well, that alien isolation game scared the shite out of me as well. It's a good game. I just didn't really have much patience for it, to be honest. And I think that's part of the reason why I tend to get a lot of games, is I've got to be in a certain mood for certain games. And sometimes I just overwhelmingly go, oh, I want to play this type of game, or this game in particular. And um, I think Alien Isolation, there'll be a time and place like this game now, Monstrum, I wasn't in the mood to play it since, well, I've had it only for like four days, maybe five days, but I haven't been in the mood to play it for the last five days. It's only now, late at night, tired, coffee, and I'm just like, yeah, I'll have a bash of that. Now, there's no way the monster should be able to break down that door there, surely. Well, I probably would have to lock it. But what is that? It's a welding kit. Is that going to be useful for anything? What about this? Yeah. I can't lock those doors. Right, that's the trouble. Imagine if there was a monster and you'd have to lock yourself behind a metal door like that and just, you know, you, you, at some point you'd really start to starve and die of thirst and you'd be like, okay, when do I open the door? In fact, it's the monster. I suppose the earlier the better, really. Now, it seems to have crashed. Hey, Diggs, you are right. What's up? No, it has actually crashed. What do you think? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it hasn't crashed. My controller's died. Um, no, I'll just put another battery in. Oh, and, uh, Numeral three. Right. And put number one back in and number two. In the charge is right, okay. So the game doesn't even pause when your battery dies. Which is horrific, potentially. I don't know what I'm going to do with this illuminous party thing. Oh god, I heard it. I heard something on the lower deck. Let's, um, let's get another flashlight out. Wait, oh, I thought I left doors open. Well, there's something wandering around. I can hear it. Can I hide if something comes? Well, I can't hide under the bench, can I? What's this here? Doesn't look like something. Yeah. He gets down low, doesn't he? Bloody hell. Oh, Jesus Christ. God. 
Shut the door. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, man, I need to take some, like, sort of... What's that thing that people take, like, when they have heart medication? Jesus Christ, that's not going to do me any favours, that. Oh, it's good. Is it good for the heart? Or am I just... Oh, I need... I need to, what I ought to do is hook up... I should be able to do this, actually. I should be able to program up a pulse meter, a pulse... Something to record my blood, blood pulse. And I could display that live on stream. See, see, like... See what my pulse is. I bet it's fucking off the chart sometimes. I mean... I bet I'm beats per minute right now. I bet I'm I bet I'm at ninety. My God, ugly thing, isn't it? That alien. Right. Yo, Diggs. You there, dude? Wait. Oh, yeah, I've just come out of there. Right. So, if I leave doors open behind me, I know I've been in there. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to resent this procedural generation stuff. Now, what's that? A new objective. There are some fuse boxes scattered about here. Maybe if I find some fuses, I can power them up. But to what point? I mean, I've got a fuse on me. But if I power this up, that thing's going to come at me, isn't it? Oh. Unlocked. Okay. Does that mean the lights will work? No. Yes, they're on already. Now, this is different. This is a security... Oh, God. Oh, I can see the monster coming for me, can't I, in these? Security feed four. Three. One. That's a bit odd number, isn't it? One, two. It's like totally the opposite how you do it, isn't it, almost? Right. So I don't know. Wait, security feed four? Is that not me? This security station is another one, isn't it? Unless that's delayed or something. The timestamp's not moving. What's that? Flare gun. It's not going to do much, is it? But combined with a gas canister. Now that might cause somebody a headache. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's another flashlight, good. Ah, relax and relax. I wondered if that fuse, I, I could take it out of the box now, once I've turned it off, and reuse it somewhere else. Or is it? No. It's in there. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I am jumpy right now. I have every right to be. Deck three, okay. Which we've not fully explored yet. So no, so... this here. Close it behind me. This is a bit alien isolation actually. What's that? Brett. Captain sent me details on Chekhov and Wilson. They were scolded by the shower. According to them, the water stopped for a second and then blasted out steam. I'm giving the repair job to you. Some of the guys reported a burning spell down near the boiler two days back. When I checked it out, there was nothing, but a, but might be a place to start. Fred, thanks, Fred. 
Am I Brett? I don't know who I am. What? What? What is that? Okay. What is that thing? Oh, that's the welding kit again. Oh, oh God! Jesus Christ! I didn't get much chance, did I, that time round? Oh! Just heard the noise of the door going. That was it. Oh God! Oh, I've got a fake tiredness. So it doesn't look like I'm whipping out the game, but I am whipping out. Just let my heart restore to a normal rhythm instead of dysrhythmia. It's never good, is it? Total number of logs collected, one out of twelve. Just heard a door creak. Was that necessary? Do you know? Audio logs. So now I'm just waiting on Chekhov. Get. Oh, right. Just one. Yeah, one audio log. But three notes. Okay. That's the collectibles. So all I've got is the option to start a new game. <laughs> I can't bear it. I can't bring myself to do it. As long as I've done an hour on this, I'm, I'm happy calling it a day. If I've done less, I'll bring it up to an hour just to make it around. I've only done 32 minutes and I've wimped out. Oh my God. Wimping out after 32 minutes. Come on, get yourself, get your act together. I've got to abstract it in my mind as being a video game and not an immersive experience. I'd be terrible in VR. I would. I'd need a defibrillator next to me, I think. Remember years ago, seven years ago, giving my dad a VR headset and putting a horror game on for him and it scared the shit out of him. I think he was in bed at the time as well. He's, he's, he'd come around, stayed over at my place, him and my mum. And just before bedtime, I gave him a VR headset to wear. And I think all it was was like a chair in a room and, a, you know, like a girl in a white dress singing, that, that sort of very cliched. Fuck that. I'm not going out there right now. I just heard something out there. These, these doors should be able to be locked. Surely. Right. Don't need that note. I haven't had that note before. Oh, it's steam. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm not going to be able to distinguish that sound between that and the monster, am I? Am I making too much noise? Pour it in gasoline. I think it's in the room.
Oh my god. Stay here the whole time, can I? That's just that steam. Monster went left. Fuck sake. You have to make that rattling sound like it like something walking at you. I don't really want to go deeper down the floors of the ship, but I think it's gonna become necessary. What deck was that? That was deck three. I'm now on deck four. No, deck two. Oh, that's good news then. What happens if I go work my way down to deck one? It's all the fucking thing. You know, can't. S where is there to hide? Do you do? It obviously procedurally generates the monsters as well. Oh, what was this Xbox point for? Charlie's Devils get killed by all three monsters. All right, well, thanks for that. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a hard game to master this. It really is. I played that Soma game and that didn't freak me out as much and that's graphically visually you know that um, HR Geiger or whatever you call it the, the guy who made Aliens well the, mm -hmm. the style of art that, that, I, think, I think he was the principal artist of Aliens anyway I think but um I'm just gonna lock that. I don't think it makes any flipping difference though really. I'm sure I locked one and it kicked it down anyway. But yeah, that didn't scare the life out of me like this is doing it right now. But um I think I think the majority of things like this is all about the suspense of it. Um okay, so I've got no I mean I could could I hide under that? Yeah, I suppose. Might do. They're always good for throwing. Yeah, it's just the suspense of the monster coming at you. Oh, that's weird. There's a door through the kitchen. Is if I just can I lock that from the outside? No. Oh. Oh 
fuse boxes, yeah. No, I know about those. Oh, right. So I could open up that door, could I? And then... You know what it's going to do? It's just going to make an electrical sound. There we go. But at least it's unlocked. Wandering around my mug of coffee. Right, that was in... The coffee's empty. Right, alien nad choppers. They all do just fine for self-defense. Can I get into one of these if I need to? Yeah. Nothing here to make use of. What's that flashing? I'll turn the lights out, shouldn't I? Really just Ooh, what's that? Oh that's a rave stick. Same camera feed as last time, it's just it's just a bitmap. It's of no use. Why do I what what is of use in this room for me then? Nothing really, just the rave stick. Shit. Oh shit. Oh sugar. Crafty thing, it's started to walk away and then it's come back again. It's like fake to walk, fake walking away. Which is what I would do in hide and seek. Oh, I hear its footsteps. That. Doors open, I left that closed. Oh. 
Oh shit, I'm right into it, didn't I? God damn it, that's the sound. It was um, it's coming from above. Right. Oh god, actually I feel really quite tense around my <laughs> well, I've had an operation as well and I've had muscle cut away. So I think on medical grounds. <laughs> I'm gonna whip out on this one. Just for a bit, actually, I'll wait. I, I always say to myself, just play these during the day, even though you get the most effect at night time when you, I don't know, you know, it's probably when your serotonin's high or something, do you know what I mean? But because I've got the lights fully on, you know, it's bright. Damn it, I've wimped out. Proper wimped out on this one. Well, not proper, but yeah. It is bad. I don't know how I'm going to face because in my collection of like horror games, well, I don't know. I don't know if there is horror, if you can do that, if you can say horror games. But of stuff that's like, right, I'm not sure what's um, genre. Is there a horror? H. No, there isn't. Oh, that's really odd to not have a horror genre. What about me? Have I got a horror genre? No, I haven't. B, C, D, E, F, L. No. I'm going to add a horror genre, I think. Um, yeah, call that horror, flipping horror, and I think I've got a fair old number of those horror games as well, is that added, or what, should have added it right at the bottom here, yeah, so I can move that, can I? it in alphabetical so it's easier. E F G H. The number of times I've said that alphabet, <laughs> that alphabet, the alphabet. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I've downloaded quite a lot of the Resident Evil games as well, and I I, th I would assume that they're all games for E F G H. I J K L N N O B G U R. I don't know if Paratopics a horror game really. I think there are some macabre elements to it, so I'm I'm gonna shove it into horror. It's it's borderline really, but it is more macabre than it is horror. I would say. I don't know if again that's really the correct term. Um, but yeah, so I've got a lot of Resident Evil. I'm just struggling with the old alphabet again. So I've got normal Resident Evil. I, again, I don't know which, um, what order they're released in. I've got Resident Evil 0. I think that's horror as well. Resident Evil 4, that's horror. Um, Resident Evil 5, that's horror. I mean, how am I going to cope with any of these? Resident Evil 6 is horror. Well, all the series is. Resident Evil 7. I mean, why have I gone ahead and bought all of these? And I can't I can't cope with horror. It's just crazy, isn't it? So I'm sort of like building myself up to trying to cope with horror, really. Um, these bother me now. What that game is called. Um, that I bought... Because it was it was going to be a bit like paratopic. Oh yeah, Slender Man, maybe. Um, the Incredible Adventures Adventures of Van Helsing. I mean that is that a horror game? Looks like it could be. 
uncover the heartbreaking mystery within messages, artwork, household objects. I mean, it's a, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's a horror game. So all of these, a lot of horror games have I purchased. A lot of horror games have I purchased, but I haven't got the stomach for them. Not a night anyway. Where is it? Because I... I <laughs> yeah. It was that game. It's this game I'm looking for, wherever it is. Yeah, Slender the Arrival. Right, that is it. Okay, I'm going to put that into horror. <laughs> now, look at this, right? I bought Slender the Arrival, played it at night, scared the life out of me. Played it like two or three nights in a row. Scared me so much, I couldn't sleep properly. So, I ended up going out and buying these airy titles, this entire series almost just as games to play at night time and I, and I said to myself I will not play horror games at night time now before bedtime um, so that's sad because these are all listed in the order of which I've bought games the most recent being at the top so yeah I bought that scared the life out of me and then decided to buy something a little bit more quiet and I thought that would be a photography film a photography game as well it's a bit weird but yeah, so I have got quite a lot on the old horror agenda um, to play. I don't. I mean, these are like zombie games, but they're not horror games. They're not like send a shiver down your spine or put your borderline heart attack. But I'll have to Google it and find out which ones are horror or not. And then I'll put them into a category and I'll say to myself, anything in that category I will not play after midnight or something like that. You know what I mean? Or after 11. Or after the sun goes down. I don't know. Something like that. Right, I'm going to kick it anyway. And um, I th I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do something to take my mind off that. Awful experience just then. I don't know what. But yeah, it's a well made game if it if it can invoke that reaction in me. And it's I think it's a well made game. I d I don't think I think A I do I have a propensity to get immersed into games. I don't know if that's some sort of, you know, disorder or something like that, some neurological disorder. But I do tend to get immersed into the games. I think having a large T V is quite immersive but i think if i was playing that on a mobile phone oh i'd probably still get just as scared right i'm gonna kick it anyway see you next time